Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Friends, today let's understand another famous case related to GDPR violation by Amazon. In July 2021, Amazon published its quarterly results and publicly disclosed that CNPD Luxembourg, which is Luxembourg's regulator for data protection, imposed a fine on Amazon on grounds of infringement of GDPR. The case is CNPD versus Amazon. Now friends, this case began in 2018 after a complaint was filed by French privacy rights group LQN on behalf of 10,000 individuals. The reason for complaint was that Amazon's advertising system was not based on free consent. That is, the personalized ads that Amazon showed its customers were devoid of any lawful basis under GDPR, thereby violating the free and unambiguous consent requirement under GDPR. Friends, I have dealt with consent under GDPR in significant detail and I am placing a link of the same in the description box in case you would like to know more about lawful consent under GDPR. Please do check it out. Since it was a French advocacy group, this group filed the case with CNIL. Now, CNIL is an independent administrative authority in France that is responsible for regulating and protecting individual privacy and personal data and is also responsible for compliance under GDPR. Now, friends, the question arose that since Amazon operates in several European Union countries, then which data processing authority would handle this matter? Well, here GDPR provides for a one-stop shop mechanism under which if a data processor or controller operates in more than one European country, then a LPA, that is Lead Processing Authority, is designated and this authority will handle all complaints and investigations related to that particular data controller or processor. So friends, this case is also important to have a clear understanding about the one-stop shop mechanism under GDPR. So friends, in this case, even though Amazon operated across Europe, but since Luxembourg is Amazon's European headquarters, and also because Amazon had chosen Luxembourg as its lead data processing authority. Therefore, CNPD, by virtue of Article 60 of GDPR, acted as the LPA or lead processing authority, basically the main authority investigating this complaint along with CNIL, that is French Data Processing Authority's assistance. Friends, after its investigation, Luxembourg's Data Processing Authority, that is CNPD, issued its decision on 15th of July 2021. The penalties included 746 million euros of fine on the grounds that Amazon's processing of personal data did not comply with the European Union's GDPR. In specific, Article 6, Article 12, Article 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 21. And Amazon was given six months to bring their advertising systems in compliance with GDPR. And if Amazon fails to do so within six months, that is six months from 15th of July, and that would be 15th of January 2022. And if Amazon is unable to bring their systems in compliance with GDPR by 15th of January 2022, then Amazon will have to pay an additional 746,000 euros per day until those revisions were not made GDPR compliant. Now, such corrective measures included ensuring that processing of personal data was carried out on legal basis, that is based on provisions of Article 6 of GDPR. Respecting the principle of transparency of processing of personal data, ensuring responses to data subject requests for access, rectification, erasure, etc. And also bringing the opt-out consent mechanism in line with Article 21 of GDPR so that it covers all processing activities carried out for the purposes of direct marketing. 
Now friends, in Luxembourg, there is a national law on data protection and under Article 42 of that law, CNPD is bound to professional secrecy and therefore they cannot comment on individual cases. And by virtue of Article 52, it cannot publish any of its decisions until the appeals in those decisions have been exhausted. And hence friends, we are not aware of the exact grounds on which Amazon was fined. Of course, Amazon appealed this decision in October 2021 before the Luxembourg Tribunal and the President of Tribunal in its ordinance, which was passed in December 2021, partially suspended CNPD's order as regards corrective measures. The Tribunal found that since CNPD's, the Tribunal found that since CNPD's order asking Amazon to bring its targeted advertising systems in compliance with GDPR had not been formulated in clear, precise and certain manner, it would not be practically possible for Amazon to comply with this order before 15th of January 2022. Therefore, the tribunal issued an order which partially granted Amazon's request to stay the execution of CNPD's decision regarding implementation of corrective measures and compliance with GDPR provisions. But the President of the Administrative Tribunal clarified that the ordinance did not address the question of fine and that Amazon's appeal against CNPD's decision is still pending. It is expected that the matter might come up for hearing sometime in January next year. However, no official communications have been made in this regard. Friends, I hope this case gave you an insight into the famous Amazon case, which to date is the second highest penalty against an organization for GDPR violations. But the main takeaway from this case is the one-stop shop mechanism. This mechanism helps in ensuring that when any company that violates GDPR and has operations in many different European Union countries, then this organization does not have to work with supervisory authorities of all those countries. It has to work with just one lead supervisory authority, also known as lead processing authority. And this authority is generally the one where the European Union headquarters of that organization are based in order to achieve compliance. So friends, in this case, Amazon's headquarters were in Luxembourg and hence CNPD dealt with this matter. Had the European headquarters been in Paris, then CNIL would have been the lead data processing authority. Friends, thank you so much for your time. If you found this video helpful, please hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you once again. And I'll see you soon with another video. Till then, goodbye, take care and have a great day.